Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am in my kitchen, and I am going to be planting some potatoes in laundry baskets. Now, I've already started a lot of my other seeds. I've started the germination process, and I've actually planted some of them that have sprouted into um, containers out in my other room out there. And today, I'm gonna work on my potatoes. So let's go over really quickly the supplies that you might need if you wanna do potatoes um, um, in laundry baskets just like me but before you get started hit that subscribe button down below subscribe to my channel turn on the little notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video All right, so first of all, I bought a couple of laundry baskets. These ones actually came from Walmart, but Dollar Tree has very similar ones for a dollar. These were a dollar twenty-five. Um, I also picked up a couple bags of the Jiffy Organic Seed Starting Mix. So I got a couple of bags of these from Walmart. Again, they were I think around four dollars each. Um, you know what? This one actually came from Home Depot, but it was around the same price, around four to five dollars. This one right here came from Walmart. It's the same brand. It's the Jiffy brand. Um, it's just a slightly different packaging um, but yes we're gonna use some of that obviously you're gonna need some laundry baskets um, I picked up my potatoes from Home Depot now they have a nice pack of seed potatoes right here for three dollars and ninety eight cents I think you get eight seed potatoes in there we're probably not going to even use all of these got the red Norland I got the Yukon gold and I got the red white and blue blend potatoes so I'm gonna do a variety of potatoes I'm also going to be planting a couple potatoes in these reusable plastic bags that come from Walmart and these are the ones that you get for five cents when you check out um, they're like a heavy-duty plastic and I've seen people do potatoes in them so I'm gonna try it and see if it works also you're gonna want a paper bag and we're gonna be using this in our laundry baskets just to kind of create like a barrier for the um, soil um, then I just have a drill and some scissors and the drill is to um, drill a couple holes in the bottom of our laundry basket for drainage all right let's get started all right, so this is a pretty easy process. I'm just taking one of my laundry baskets. I'm tilting it upside down, and then I'm just going to drill a couple holes right in the bottom um, of my laundry basket. I'm going to do four. I'm using a quarter-inch drill. That should be plenty big enough for drain holes. And then I'm just going to take my paper bag and lay it down in the bottom and I want to kind of go up the sides just a little bit so that the soil doesn't seep out the side. So I put some of the paper bag in the bottom of my basket. Now we're going to add some of our potting soil from this bag. I'm going to You want about 2 to 3 inches of the potting soil at the bottom of your basket. And if you are finding spaces where the um, soil is seeping through. Just take some more of your paper bag and just go around those edges. So once we got about four inches or so of soil, I'm just kind of flattening it out and making sure it's all level. We're going to take our potatoes. Now these potatoes are already chitting and that means that they're already starting to grow these little roots and I'm just going to pluck off any other of the small roots that are starting to pop through that will help the potato grow a little bit better. And I want to use the ones that have um, two, probably two to three chits per potato. 
in. I'm going to do three of these potatoes in this basket. Now the other basket that I did, um, I did the red seed potatoes here. Um, they're a little bit smaller, so I did four potatoes per basket at the bottom, but these ones are the Yukon Gold, so they're a little bit larger. I'm only going to do three of these. And when you put them in your soil, you want these little chits to be sticking upward. So I'm just going to stick those right down in my soil. like that and then I'm gonna take another strip of my paper bag and we're gonna go around the outer edge building up that outer edge just a little bit and I'm gonna just kind of stick that paper down in the soil lightly and we're gonna add more soil on top of our potatoes probably another four or so inches Now, as the plants grow up through the soil, we're gonna to continue to add paper bag around the outer edge and we're gonna to continue to add soil upward. That will allow all of the little potatoes or the little, um, the little new growth potatoes to have plenty of room to grow. So I used about one bag of the garden soil for two of the laundry um, basket pots to get us started. Okay, so I made a little DIY watering container just out of a little juice, um, an old recycled juice container. I drilled some holes in the top right here, and then I think I drilled, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I drilled nine holes in the top with my little drill, and then I drilled one hole on the opposite side so that when I'm dumping it out, it will the air will release on that side. So I'm just, and you can see it just is perfect for watering inside these little um, potato gardens. So I'm just gonna water this um, down a little bit. I don't want it sopping, but I didn't pre-moisten the soil before planting. So it's gonna absorb a lot of this water. And you wanna make sure that it stays moist, but you don't want it soggy. Uh, I'm gonna set this in um, a nice warm area. Hopefully we'll start to see some little greens pop through this soil pretty soon. All right, so I wanted to give you just a quick little view. Um, these have been planted for probably a week and a half now. And so you can see the little uh, greens are starting to pop up through the soil. I've actually already added a second layer of soil. So the greens have probably popped up maybe about four inches or so, maybe even more than that, because I think I've added an inch or so of soil to this. You wanna keep adding soil to these little um, baskets and kind of building it up until you get up to the top. That way it will give plenty of room for all of the new baby potatoes to grow on the inside of this little basket. So this is, I believe the Yukon, um, potatoes and then these are the red potatoes those ones are just starting to sprout up all right so stay tuned for more updates on my potato gardens I will keep you guys up to date on how they are doing I have been just continuously adding the soil as the sprouts get taller and taller um, yeah so I'll keep you updated I'll be posting another video once um, you know they get further along make sure you hit that subscribe button down below subscribe to my channel turn on that little notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video I have lots of new stuff coming a lot of new gardening videos coming as well because I've done a lot with my seeds and starting seeds and vegetable garden and um, we're gonna be doing a raised vegetable garden outside here soon and I'm going to be documenting all of that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.